Hi, I'm Derek with Design Environments, and today's video is going to focus on fitting room assembly. Okay, the first step in putting together your fitting rooms is to getting is getting all the furring strips up. As you can see, we've got all the furring strips up, and you'll check. Uh, make sure you check on your drawing to find the correct heights. For the bottom furring strip, what you want to do, especially for uh, multiple fitting rooms, is find the highest spot on the floor because not all floors are level. Find that spot and measure up one inch, and that should be the bottom of the first furring strip. After you have the bottom furring strip in place and leveled, the rest of the furring strips will fall in line. Before you get started assembling your fitting rooms, you want to make sure that all the parts and the pieces are there. On the outside of these particular packages, you'll see the contents inside, you'll see the posts are labeled. Make sure you keep those on the post until you get ready to install them. Once everything is all unwrapped, it may be kind of difficult after the fact to go back in and find which post is which. You'll also receive a package of little parts and pieces. Uh, there will be uh, screws to the door, screws for the post to the wall, screws for the U-channel to the fitting rooms. This will all be in one package. And then there will also be a package of uh, leg levelers. You'll want to use your drawings, uh, your side view fitting room drawing and your top view fitting room drawing to double check that all the parts and all the pieces have come in properly. You'll also use these two drawings for construction. You may also refer to your estimate for additional information. All right, now that I have all the parts and pieces checked in and I've got all the furring strips up on the wall, the next step is to locate the first U-channel. You'll want to refer to your drawing fitting room top view to find that location. And what you'll do is you'll measure over from the corner of the ADA fitting room along the wall, you locate that first U-channel. Then every other U-channel, depending on how many more fitting rooms you have, will be 38 inches on center the rest of the way. One, of one special note, when you're installing the U-channel, you want the bottom of the U-channel to be flush with the bottom of the bottom furring strip. I have my, my U-channels up now and I'm ready to move on to the next step. Keep in mind every store is different, so even though there's three U-channels in this particular layout, your store may have more or maybe even less. The next step is going back to the first U-channel that was installed and putting on the panel and the post to the front of the fitting room. All right, you can see the next step here, what we've done is we put the 46 and 5 8 inch panel in to the U-channel that's against the wall, and then we put the H-post right up next to it. Keep in mind, at the bottom of the H-post, there's a leg leveler that goes in. So you'll put a level on the top of the panel here, and you'll adjust the leg leveler to make sure that everything coming off the wall is flush. All right, the next step is to secure the wood panel to the U-channels, both on the post and the wall. There will be three holes on each U-channel, so you'll use the provided screws and attach them together. All right, as you can see now, we have the next fitting room panel and post in place. Keep in mind that the leg levelers, it saves you a lot of time and energy if you put those on before the panel goes in it's virtually impossible to get them in after the fact. Now that all the standard fitting room panels are in place, you can see that I've attached the top rail. When you're putting the top rail in, make sure you, at this stage anyways, that it's still a little bit loose. Snug it down a little bit, but leave some room for flexibility. When you start to put in the other posts, you'll need that. Um, what, you'll use, what you'll need to use is the tech screws that we provided in the packaging. Moving along, the next step is to put the four and a half inch panel in place goes right into the U-channel just like the rest of the panels do and then from the back side you screw it in. Again on this U-channel like all the rest of them there's three spots that need to be secured. Make sure you put in three screws with the provided screws. Now that the panel is in place I put the hinge post on. Before you put the hinge post on you need to make sure that you put the leg leveler in. Once the leg leveler is in, slide the post right over the top of the panel here, and then tighten up the leg leveler so that the bottom of the U-channel again is flush with the bottom of the panel. Now this also needs to be secured to these panels along the U-channel along those three different spots, but before you do that, you need to go to the top of the post and screw the top rail to the post first. That will make sure that all the spacing is correct. And okay, now we're at the top of the fitting rooms looking down through the top rail into the post below. You can see that the nut, the tech screw that's been provided, that screws into the bottom of the post that we were just referencing, and that is what keeps everything in place. Make sure that you tighten that first throughout the rest of the fitting rooms before you tighten the front panels into place. All right, now the top rail is in place. They're all, the top rail is secured to the post. 
the posts have the panels. The next step is to work now, I'll move back over to the ADA. And as you can see here, I've got the new panel on the ADA that extends out and the post to attach. Make sure again that the panel is secured in the U-channel in those three different spots. All right, I'm in what's going to be the inside of the ADA fitting room. And what I need to do next, now that I have this wall up, is I need to find the, the post placement on the furring strip wall. And what I need to do is measure from the wall out to the outermost part of this panel, or this post, and I need to take that same dimension and copy it over on that side. All right, now that we have the post properly located on the wall, the next step is to actually screw to the wall. There will be a hardware kit that has a washer and a screw as well. You need to make sure that you put those two together as you screw it in. There's four spaces, you know, one spot on each furring strip where this needs to be anchored. Make sure you get all four of those in. All right, now that both the left and the right posts in the ADA fitting room are in place, the next step is to take the top rail and to put it on top, just like you did for the standard fitting rooms, and screw it into place. Keep in mind you don't want to cinch it down too tight because there are some adjustments that may need to be made after the fact. Alright, now that we're putting the top rail on, one thing that you need to do first before you actually put it into place is put the end cap on. Once it's up against the wall, you're not going to have this opportunity. So go ahead, put the end cap on, tap it into place, and go ahead and put it up. Now that we have the top rail, make sure you use the end with the end cap, put that in all the way up against the wall. And then just like you did in the standard fitting rooms, use the tech screws to secure the top rail to the post. Make sure you don't snug it down too tight. There are some things that need to shift a little bit once you get everything up. Alright, the last part of major construction for the fitting rooms would be putting up the fitting room door. You can see there's a hinge right here, and we've got the door up already, but just to show. What you do first is you put the fitting room door right up against the hinge and sink the back two screws in first. That will bring the fitting room and the hinge snugly together. Once that's done on both the top and the bottom hinge, go ahead and put two screws in on the side and they'll hold the door in place. Make sure you get a total of eight screws in per door. All right, now you can see that all the fitting rooms are in place, all the panels are in place, the doors, and everything is all set to go. There are a few additional adjustments that you'll need to make and one of those will be uh, fixing the leg leveler to the floor so that the post doesn't move and then also the next thing would be putting in the rest of the end caps in the top rail. One thing to keep in mind especially when you're in the ADA fitting room like this is that walls can bow or they can slant so just because it's straight up against the wall here doesn't mean that it's going to be straight with the rest of the world. Make sure if you have to to put shims in to kick the post out one way or another to accommodate for that. You want this first post to be square. You can make those adjustments again by using shims or by adjusting the leg leveler. Okay, this is the bottom of the post and this would be the leg leveler. You'll see that there's two different screw holes, one right here and one right here. This is the place where you would put the concrete anchors in. Once you get the post straight, make sure you screw those concrete anchors in through those two holes to keep the bottom of the post from moving. The one thing that can cause, or when, if this bottom post is to move at all, it may affect how well the door shuts or if the door can even shut at all. <laughs> all right, the final step then when in putting together your fitting rooms would, make, would be putting the end cap on the top rail, just like you did in the ADA section. Just slide it in the end and slightly cap it into place, and you're good to go.